Sisters and brothers, thanks for joining me for this time of prayer and reflection. I trust that you will find our time together rewarding. The feast day of St. Agnes, Martyr of the Church, is observed on January 21st each year. However, since the feast fell on Sunday, it has been transferred to today. What do we know about St. Agnes? As a child of 12 years, Agnes suffered for her faith during the cruel persecution of Emperor Diocletian. She refused to offer worship to heathen gods and was beheaded with the sword. The other fathers of the church praised her courage and the chastity. In Greek, her name means pure. In Latin, it means lamb. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you choose those whom the world deems powerless to put the powerful to shame. Grant us so to cherish the memory of your youthful martyr Agnes, that we may share her pure and steadfast faith in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now, a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18, verse 1 to 6. At that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child. He put among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depths of the sea. Thanks be to God. When Jesus said that we must become like little children, he did not mean for us to be childish. He did not mean for us to be childish. Over and over, the Bible urges us towards maturity, to grow up. St. Paul wrote, and I quote, When I was a child, I thought and acted like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish ways. End of quote. There are lots of characteristics of children that we should not emulate. For example, the temper tantrums, so typical of the terrible tools. To really understand what Jesus meant when he urged us to become like little children, we must look at the context. Jesus and his disciples were making the last journey from Galilee to Jerusalem, where he would be crucified. As they walked along, Jesus tried to prepare them for those awesome events. He talked at length about the coming kingdom of God. When the disciples heard the word kingdom, they thought that Jesus was talking about an earthly kingdom. They hoped that Jesus might lead a revolutionary army to free Israel from the Roman domination. Then, perhaps, the twelve disciples would hold ministerial portfolios in his government. These thoughts set their ambitions soaring. Even the disciples' relatives got in on the action. We recall how the mother of James and John asked Jesus 
to look out for her boys in the coming glory days. Finally, when competing ambitions were creating tensions, Jesus called time out and gathered the disciples around him. Jesus, like the master of the object lesson, called the child to him. Can you imagine the surprise on the disciples' faces? A child? A child as a representative of greatness? Jesus said to them, Unless you become like this little child, you will never make it to the kingdom. The context shows that there were two qualities of children that Jesus was praising. He called these qualities essentials for kingdom membership. First, he summoned, or commended rather, Jesus commended the humility of children. In verse 4, Jesus actually said, Unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. A child does not usually brag or make himself look important. When he does so, he is usually trying to fill a void created by a lack of attention. He is seeking attention. On the other hand, we adults have an ego problem. Either we are genuinely big-headed or self-centered, or we are trying to cover over our inferior complexes. When Jesus called us to be little children, he meant that we should feel so secure, so affirmed in God's love, that there is no need to brag or put a sister or brother down. That is authentic humility. There is a second quality of children that we as Christians should emulate. It is their ability to trust so completely. Have you ever noticed how it is when a parent or an adult tosses a child in the air, how that child giggles? He or she feels assured that the same hands which threw him or her in the air will be there to catch him or her on the way down. A little child places his or her life completely in the hands of others. His or her dependence is utter and complete. Only later on, we unlearn that trust and become skeptical of almost everything and everybody. Jesus is not calling us to be naive or simplistic. He is calling us to trust in God as completely as a little child trusts a parent. Jesus wants us to be confident that when we read the Bible intelligently, it means what it says, and it says what it means. He calls us to trust our sisters and brothers in Christ, unless and until they prove unworthy of that trust. St. Agnes has given us a wonderful example to follow. She placed her trust in Jesus and was willing to die for his name. Pray that we and our children will do the same. Let us pray. We pray for our young people. God our Father, we pray for our young people growing up in an unstable and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more meaning to life 
than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you, and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God and Father, help us to entrust the past to your mercy, the present to your love, and the future to your wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us all this day and forevermore. Amen.